Hey, I'm Randy, and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we help everyone find high-value hi-fi home theater and headphone equipment. And today, we're talking about something that doesn't really impact the sound, but it's going to impact your enjoyment when you're listening to all your hi-fi tunes. That's right, it's the One Little Bear by Duke Audio. It's the VU3. What is it? It's a speaker switch. It's an amplifier switch, and... It has two VU meters. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the One Little Bear by Duke Audio VU3. Today's sponsor comes from our friends at Sith Audio. That's right, audiophiles, all of us, for decades have been conditioned that spending a whole bunch of money on things makes a big difference. Oftentimes that difference is simply in our heads. That's why Sith Audio has decided to lean into it with the Placebo Stat 1000. That's right, they're doing home climate control the audiophile way, and they're not even pretending like it's doing anything. The Placebo Stat 1000 lets you set whatever temperature you want to. Frigid in the winter? Crank it up to 90. Sweating in the summer? Crank it down to 58. That's right, maybe you'll feel better about things and it'll make a difference in your head. That's right, the Placebo Stat 1000 from Sith Audio. This has been independently verified by Audio Science Research to do nothing at all. That's what makes it audiophile. Sith Audio Placebo Stat 1000 available at Home Depot, Lowe's, and I don't know, Audio Advice. I'm just kidding. It's not available at Lowe's. All right, the Duke Audio. One little bear, VU3. This thing is pretty awesome. What is it and why do you need it? Well, it's a speaker switch, it's an amplifier switch, and it has two VU meters on the front, which dances with the music. That's right, visual stimulation for your audio enjoyment. One Little Bear by Duke Audio, they make all sorts of switches, and I own a few of them. This is a balanced XLR switch. But I think a lot of people have purchased One Little Bear switches before and, well, they're good. People like them. This one takes a little bit of a different take on things. Let's talk about how this thing works. On the front, you have obviously two pretty large VU meters. Down at the bottom is the swing range, which basically makes the VU meter more sensitive to your music if it's at lower levels. So you get to see the, the dancing needles, which is a lot of fun for me. And then up top, you have amplifier AB, just a little switchy switch right here, and then speaker one, two. And then on the top of that, you have a big IR infrared eye. Why? That's right. The One Little Bear VU3 from Duke Audio comes with a remote control, which means you can switch amplifiers from the comfort of your favorite chair, or you can switch speakers from the comfort of your favorite chair with the remote control. Not only that, you can turn down and turn up the LED brightness and you can turn on or turn off the peak LED. The peak LED is this little thing right here. And I don't really know what it's used for. I know what it's supposed to be used for is to let you know, hey, you're pushing too much power. I think you can set it. If you know, hey, when it hits this level, my speakers are gonna start clipping or the amplifier is gonna start distorting, you can probably dial it in. But in my experience with this, even at lower levels when the swing is low, it still lights up a little bit. I don't know, you probably could figure out a way to use that, but right now it's just a red LED that lights up sporadically. So I had this hooked up to the IEMA A300 and it's pretty cool because the width of these two components is almost identical. So it looks like they're kind of made to go together. I had the Gashelli Labs feeding the IEMA A300 and then going into, well, the Little Bear and then out of the Little Bear into the Klipsch RP500M which again are awesome. I haven't listened to them for a while and I hooked them up and I couldn't believe how much I enjoyed them. Maybe we'll talk about those a little bit more. But why, why, why would you need a One Little Bear by Duke Audio VU3 speaker switcher and amplifier switcher? If you're enjoying this video at all, consider subscribing and liking the video. You may wanna subscribe and turn on bell notifications just so you can see when I post all of the sales that I find on the internet. That's right, I post a lot of stuff in the community section when things are on sale at what I believe is going to be their lowest price. 
So consider subscribing and turning on bell notifications if you want to save some money for your hi-fi stuff. Thank you for watching. If you like to A-B speakers or compare speakers on the same amplifier, you can use this. This is just a fancy switch that has VU meters. It's a really cool device though, because if you're considering buying a new pair of speakers and you want to compare them to your old speakers, you can set those speakers up right next to each other, put the one little bear VU3 in between it and switch back and forth. There's probably going to be efficiency differences, but you can, well, turn the volume up or down and then you can decide, hey, is my new speaker better than my old speaker? Is it different enough that I want to keep both? Is it better? Am I going to sell my old speakers? Now you can do that. Now you could do that anyway, right? You could stand up, go over there, switch out the speaker leads, whatever you want to do. But it's pretty cool to be able to sit at your chair and just kind of AB them with the one little bear, VU3. Thinking about getting a new amplifier and you want to compare it to your old amplifier, you can do the same thing with the one little bear, VU3 by Duke Audio. Just hook both amplifiers up and it works all on speakers, speaker cables. The VU3 just sits between your amplifier and your speakers. So if you have two amps hooked up to it, you would just run your speaker outputs from the amplifier into amplifier A or amplifier B on the back. And then you would hook up whatever speaker, speaker one or speaker two, and you can actually have two amplifiers hooked up to two speakers at the same time and you can switch back and forth. How I'm going to use this is I'll hook up two amps into one speaker and then switch back and forth and compare the sound of the amplifiers. Or I will hook up two speakers to one amplifier and then switch them back and forth to see if I hear a difference or hear if I hear a difference. You can also use this if you wanted different speakers for home theater and then different speakers for two channel and you only had, well, one receiver. Or even if you have two amplifiers, you could still do it that way. So what you would do is you'd hook up your home theater fronts to this and then your receiver into this. And then you'd hook up your two channel speakers to this and then your receiver up to this. And then you could just switch them back and forth. That way you could have a dedicated 5.2 or 7.2 or even 9.2 and then a dedicated two channel speaker system if you wanted it. Pretty cool. Some receivers can do that, but... I don't know, this is pretty cool. What's really cool about this is you could take a device like this and then take a low cost amplifier from IEMA A300 and just jazz things up a little bit with some visual stimulation. A lot of the vintage stuff out there that's really sought after has VU meters. A lot of the really expensive stuff today has VU meters and one, the IEMA T9. One of the coolest things about that product, beyond that it sounded great, was that it had a VU meter. So now, even if you just got this just for the VU meters, I still think it's worth it. How much is it? It's 130 bucks. So for $130, not only do you get a really good switcher for amplifier and for speakers and a remote control, but you get the VU meters. Which just, I don't know, it makes things really cool. I think this is a really awesome product it's not gonna have any impact on the sound improvement wise it could be de detrimental to the sound quality it might actually make it worse but i don't think it does most people that have these duke switches or the one little bear switches say there's no degradation in the sound i never heard anything it sounded just fine to me but it's a cool way to be able to add something different to your system and actually have it be useful to switch out speakers and stuff. But even if you don't use it to switch any speakers or amplifiers, I still think it's worth the price of admission just to add a little bit of a coolness factor to your affordable hi-fi stack. Look at this, look how cool that is. A300 and the Duke Audio VU3. Looks like they're meant to be together. And this is probably gonna be my low cost system right here. Let's talk about the Klipsch RP500M. I reviewed those a while back and I think it's time for a little bit of a refresh on them. What I like about them, well, they're punchy, they're sparkly on the top end, they're built well, and I actually think they have more bass presence or the sound signature is more focused on the bass than the RP600M. And you would think the 600M would actually have more bass because, well, it has a bigger woofer. And while it probably extends lower 
Overall, the sound signature on the RP500M I feel is punchier than the RP600M. Personally, I like that. I listen to a lot of rock and roll. I listen to a lot of metal. And I like a little bit of a oomph on the bottom and a little bit of sparkly on the top. These do have a rise in the upper mid-range, but that rise makes female vocals sound brilliant. It also makes male vocals sound more detailed. Air and extension on that speaker are awesome. For me though, I can only listen to the Klipsch RP500M for probably a couple of hours if it's at loud volumes. When I say loud, I'm probably talking mid 80 dB, 80 dB to 90 dB. Anything louder than that, I'm not gonna be able to listen to those speakers for more than probably an hour or two. But that hour or two is pretty fantastic. I also think the RP500Ms are an excellent speaker for front duties for home theater. So your front two channels, RP500M in a smaller room are going to be great. I think the entire reference premiere from Clips is an excellent speaker for home theater. And it's good for music in small doses for me, personally. It could be the end all be all speaker for you from a music standpoint. But for longer listening sessions, I usually have to take a break from the RP500M. The takeaway for the Klipsch RP500M for me is every time I hook them up, I am shocked and surprised just how good they are. And I enjoy them a lot. But then I need to take a break from them. But that's the cool thing about having multiple speakers that sound different. You can take a break and then you can pull those out and put them back up and almost have like a whole new system because you have a couple different sounding small bookshelf speakers. Put one in the closet, listen to the other one for about a month, two months, Put that one away, bring out the Klipsch. Guess what? You're enjoying your music all over again, like it's brand new. So if you wanna compare some speakers or amplifiers right next to each other, not even have to get up, think about getting this. It's really cool. And I know it doesn't really, it's not an amplifier, it's not a speaker, it's not a CD player or streamer, it's not super sexy like those things are, but this is super sexy because it has the VU meters. It's a cool product. And for 130 bucks, I don't think you can go wrong. Switch speakers, A, B them for yourself. Be able to run a hybrid home theater and two channel system in the same room with two different amps or two different speakers, and you'll be just fine. One little bear, VU3. Highest recommendation that the cheap audio man can give a product. It's awesome, and I'm glad I found it, and I'm glad I bought it because I'm going to use it all the time. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash Chief Audio Man. Every Sunday night, we have patron-only Zooms. We also have a patron-only Facebook group and a patron-only Discord group. You can also sign up for Amazon Music or Tidal Music. Links in the description. You click on those links, you sign up, even for a trial. I get a couple of bucks. You can also use my links to buy the One Little Bear VU3. That is an affiliate link, which means if you click and you buy, I will get a commission but it doesn't cost you any more, so it's a great way to support the channel. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge and listen, hook up your One Little Bear Duke Audio VU3, have some visual stimulation, and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy, I'm the Cheap Audio Man.